Hey Queens in Christ, Tiffany here. So I was just thinking today about this whole Grammy situation. I know some of you guys probably heard uh, where we had gospel artists in the midst of a whole lot of satanic rituals and all the things. Um, I listened to Kirk Franklin's video about this and I'm telling you when I clutch my pearls, I don't think I've clutched my pearls that many times. <laughs> In so long in a long time my god y'all need to go check that one out I, I was so heartbroken for him because I'm like man Kurt come on you cannot be this far gone from the Lord you cannot be but anyway um I was just thinking to myself what would have happened had the believers in the house at the Grammys the moment those rituals were taking place and all the satanic stuff was going on, the guy with the devil horns and all the words flashing Satan and all the red and all of the nasty gyrations and stuff. If in the midst of that, instead of them just sitting there and going viral for doing nothing, what if they did one of two things? The first one being, obviously, you get up and you walk out. Because ain't no... uh award that important that I'm going to sit here and endure all this foolishness. You're not walking out because you're afraid of the devil because as Christians we're not afraid of the devil. It has nothing to do with that. Not fear at all. It's out of respect and honor for our God. Walk out. If you don't want to walk out and you want to stay there you don't sit in your seat like you eating a bag of popcorn and enjoying the show. You stand to your feet and you very respectfully raise your hands and start worshiping Jesus Christ. Can you imagine what would have happened if these believers who say Jesus Christ is Lord, who honor Jesus Christ for shedding his blood on the cross for our sins, would have stood up and raised their hands and worship and praise and surrender to our Lord and Savior and gave him honor right there in front of everyone? Because ain't nobody scared of the devil. Who's afraid of Satan? Nobody's afraid. Take that out of this conversation. These believers went viral for the wrong reason. And they came out saying the wrong things. If you're going to go viral, go viral with your hands up like Moses lifted. Praising the Most High. Giving honor and showing where your help come from. Honor God in all your ways. That's what we were looking for. 